day two of our novena we give god all the glory we just thank god for this novena that we do at the beginning of every month i don't know about us but for me it has been a big blessing to start the month the first monday of every month you know to just dedicate nine days beginning with the first monday to prayer thanksgiving and just um intense focus on heaven i'd like to invite us at this time to begin to think about all the reasons that you are thankful for this month of february all the reasons that you're thankful for the past month and begin to just dispose yourself to offering your thanks to god our novena this month is a combination of uh, behold i will do a new thing novena and the surrender novena i uh, behold i'll do a new thing novena focuses on isaiah 43 verse 13 verse 18 to 19. and i invite us at this time to if you will unmute your microphone if you will unmute your microphones we're going to pray together praise the lord you're able to unmute unmute your microphones um, and let us pray together amen amen so we focus on isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19 for the behold i will do a new thing novena and we want to believe god that if his word says that he will do a new thing in our lives that it will come to pass can somebody say amen amen, amen. amen. the lord says to us forget the former things do not dwell, do not dwell on the past, on Thank the past. You. see yes see. together i'm doing I'm doing, a, I'm doing, a, do a, doing a, something a, now it springs oh, it do you do not, not forsake. I am going, I am going away, away in, the in, the in the wilderness and streams in the water, in the wasteland. We believe this, we claim it. And I just want you to take a moment and meditate on this verse and look into your life because our Lord says, forget the things of the past, forget the former things, forget your disappointments, forget your guilt. Forget your, you know, your sense of regret. Forget, you know, all of that and focus on the new thing that the Lord has promised that he's going to do. So just take a deep breath. Allow his promise to fill your heart and your mind. Be gladdened by this promise. Be assured by this promise of God's, you know, the freedom. Because the Bible says, if the Son of Man sets you free, you're free indeed. Open yourself up and focus on his love for you. Have a great anticipation over this nine days for the new things that your father wants to do in your life and in the lives of those that are dearest to you. Let us pray. Let us pray together. Mm -hmm. Loving Father. Father, thank you for, thank your, you for your constant work in my life. Heavenly Father, grant me the grace to let go of the past. This is my life deliver me bring me so that I am not surprised the weight of the past failures, disappointments, or even past issues that Holy Spirit, I yield myself to you. Be my director, my guide, my counselor, my 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 mind is what 
What are the new things that you have the Lord doing in your life? In what ways do you want that promise to come to pass in your life? What are the old things that you need the Holy Spirit to help you forget? What are the things of the past that you need to let go of? Together, let us pray. Lord, Lord, thank you for your reassurance. That I, I am precious in your eyes. Thank you for your life. Thank you for your Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your regardless of my Regardless of my sins, my protest, and for my present condition. Thank you for your assurance. You remember my sins no more. Holy Spirit, let me pray for the best kind and strength towards the grace of God, which is the prize for which my God has called me in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Heal my memory, deliver me from the out. Heal my heart and open my eyes to believe what he who is seated on the throne said. At the sun, mention your name. What has he said and who is he saying it about? Mention your name to Caroline. I am making everything new. Making everything new. Help me to have confidence in the reasons for this world. And his assurance when he stays right Amen. Amen. Lord, everyone, Lord, I stand on your side. And at this time, at this time, this time in this season in this of, my life, of my life, you will, you will be the God of my family, and along with everything, everything that concerns me. I receive your grace for every wilderness experience of the past. Of my past. I am grateful for your presence. I am grateful, I am grateful, grateful for you have shown up us to give me rest. rest. I am grateful, I am grateful I am for the assurance that you have loved me with an everlasting love. Everlasting love. love. And, and I, I, will I will experience your faithfulness forever. I am grateful. I am grateful for, for your assurance that you will be that you shall, that you shall restore, restore me and bring back all that I have lost. lost. Thank, Thank you. you for your and I will rejoice in you. And you will fill my life, my life with supernatural joy and peace. And peace. Thank, Thank you for your, your promise. That again, again I shall take my tambourines and go forth in the dance of the enemy. Your passion is that I shall be successful and experience find rest in your presence. Find rest in your presence. Come on, Raise you in Zion, the place of refuge, the place where I will enjoy the evils of the evils of this world. Amen. Amen. We're going to now pray the surrender novena. This novena comes from Father Dolindo Rotolo, who was the spiritual director of Padre Pio. This novena 
is important for you and I. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice that is struggling and wanting to take care of your issues by yourself, you know, if you have ever had a point where you are worried, you are struggling to give up worrying and anxiety and doubt, to give up your sufferings and offer it to God. This is the novena to help you. And so let us just have that spirit of surrender. As we listen to our Lord, our Lord spoke to his servants and he said, surrender to me does not mean to fret. It does not mean to be upset or to lose hope. Nor does it mean offering to me a worried prayer, not a worried prayer, beloved, or asking me to follow you and change your worry into prayer. That's not what surrender means. It is against this surrender, deeply against it, to worry. If you surrender, you cannot worry. You should not worry. You should not be nervous. And you should not, you know, desire to think about the consequence of anything. Don't worry about the consequence as long as you're giving it to God. Our Lord says, it is like the confusion that children feel when they ask their mother to see their needs and then try to take care of those needs for themselves so that their childlike efforts get in their mother's way. How does that describe you and I? Our Lord says, surrender means to placidly close the eyes of the soul to turn away from thoughts of tribulation and to put yourself in my care, in the Lord's care, so that only the only thing you will act on is your saying to God, Lord, you take care of it. Can somebody say, Lord, you take care of it? Lord, Lord you take, you care, take, of care, of take care of it. it. And so I invite us, we're going to repeat this 10 times. Oh, Jesus, together. Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. I surrender myself I surrender to you. Myself take care, to care you. of everything. Take care of everything. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I surrender oh, myself Jesus. to you. Take care oh, of everything. everything. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I surrender to I you. Myself. Take care of everything. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I surrender oh, myself Jesus. to you. Take care oh, of everything. everything. Oh Jesus. oh Jesus, I surrender I myself, myself to you. To you. Take, Take care, care of everything. everything. Oh, oh Jesus, I surrender I myself, myself, myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus, I surrender, I surrender myself, myself to you. Take, take care of everything. Oh, oh Jesus, I surrender, I surrender myself, myself to you. Take, take care, care of everything. everything. Oh, oh Jesus, I surrender, I surrender myself, myself to you. Take, take care, care of everything. everything. And together, let us say, Mother. Mother, I am yours now and forever. Through you, through you and with you, I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Amen. I invite Amen. you back to dismiss us, Father, if you will. The Lord be with you. And with, you. Uh, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 In the peace of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Amen. We continue you, tomorrow Father. with our um, interceding with the Blessed Virgin Mary, and um, we invite you all to join us again. We have someone called Joy. She's brought us joy. 
and we want to know, mm -hmm. uh, Sister Joy, who should we thank? Who should we acknowledge for inviting you to our program today? I've been always the one of you, just that today I couldn't keep my memory to join. Yeah. Okay, what's your full name? Sorry. Joy Chama Okore. Oh, okay. Welcome, welcome. And you're joining us from? Gothenburg. Oh, welcome, welcome. God bless you. And thank you all thank for you. thank you all for choosing to pray with us. Thank you all for always joining us, acknowledging all our family members that are here and those who join us every now and then. Sister Pat, we we recognize you, Sister Christy, we acknowledge you. Um, God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.